this video, we're going to go over the four elements of security. So these are essentially the four things that you need to understand as far as what security is really centered around and at a foundational level, what really security is about. Because in order for you to be successful cybersecurity professional, you know, ethical hacker, you need to understand these four components here and these four elements. And so we're going to go ahead and walk through these one by one. So let's go right ahead and jump in here. So the first thing that you need to understand is that all attacks are an attempt to breach a computer's system security. And that security consists of these four basic elements. Now, here's the thing. A hacker's goal is always to exploit any type of vulnerabilities in a system or network to find a specific weakness in one of these four elements of security. That's why it's important to understand what these four are and the different types of attacks that are generally within these four elements. So let's go right ahead and go into the first one here. So the first one is confidentiality. The second one's authenticity. And we're going to walk into these uh, in some detail here and some examples. And then we have integrity and then we have availability. So, for example, a denial of service, right? DOS attack. A hacker is attacking the availability elements of a system and network. For one, they can take many forms, but the main purpose here is to use up the system resources or the bandwidth. So what they'll typically do is they'll flood a bunch of incoming messages, a bunch of overloaded data information to target the system and so what it essentially will do is force itself to shut down, therefore denying any type of service to the actual legitimate users of the system. So they're going to overload it so that owners of the information are not able to access it. That's the availability factor. And then stealing passwords or any other type of data is a confidentiality attack because it allows someone other than the actual recipient to gain access, right? Uh, they're hacking some type of network and they're looking to get information, uh, passwords, records, whatever that may be, that's on the confidentiality uh, aspect, right? And element. So very important to understand the different types of attacks within these four elements. The next one here, we have bit flipping, for example. These types of attacks are considered integrity attacks because the data may have been tampered with in transit or within the original system. So let's say somebody's using some sort of digital signature software uh, and they send some important document right to another recipient, you know, digital signature to be uh, made there. An attacker can come in and they can actually modify the actual document and they can change up the numbers. And so let's say that it's an invoice or some sort of promissory note. They can go in there and change, you know, hey, $10 is what you owe us to $10,000 is what you actually owe us. That's how the information can be manipulated. It's that integrity type of element that is uh, the factor there. And then finally here we have the MAC address spoofing, uh, which is an authentication attack because it allows an unauthorized device to connect to a network such as one that is wireless, right? Because the MAC address is like an IP address, but it's for your local network and uh, essentially get authenticated and get access to your network, your router, whatever that may be, right? Do whatever they want with that information. So these are the four basic elements of security. It's important for you to understand what these are and how uh, they can be, you know, taken advantage of through different malicious attacks. Uh, so that you can know what to look out for. So that's going to be it here for this one, and we'll see you on the next one.